All right, it is Friday night. I am going through some week one content. Want to finish all of week one, have that down solidified, move to week two, and then half of week three is on the midterm. So I'm here with my bro, Sam, but he's gonna get into med school. TBD. These chairs always end up destroying my back, so I have to lay down after a couple hours. Good morning, YouTube. I'm really excited to bring you through a weekend in my life as a no life medical student. On Monday, we have our cardiopulmonology midterm exam and it's based on physics and a lot of physiology, which I'm not a math person. So this is this is gonna be pretty hard. Patagonias came in today, which is a positive. I'm really excited about that. I'm about to have a little study session with the boys. And this morning was pretty hectic. I, I was driving to school and I said, you know what? Today is gonna be a phenomenal day. It's gonna be incredible. Seconds later, I get a message on my car, flat tire pullover. So my tire pressure was like 10. Went to discount tire, got my tire patch. So I have to get a new tire, but thankfully it should be covered by warranty. I'm blessed. I mean, medical school's hard, but there's really nothing else I wanna do with my life. Got some step one side also up in here and I am gonna leave my coat in the car and come back into Patagonia that's embossed with OSU Medical School. It's a beautiful day out in Columbus. I want to share the Spotify playlist that I found that's an absolute banger. It's called Divorce Dead Rock and it's it's the only thing I've been listening to. You don't know how hard it is to vlog, hold your first aid book, have Tim Hortons up in here but I guess I'm making it work. OSU Med School Patagonia, first aid book, embossed logo on the back. I'm just living my med school dream. Also, this is me wearing the Patagonia. As you notice, I got a haircut since the last video after somebody told me I looked like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just a, a little change of scenery. I cannot get over this Patagucci. I'm a virtual host for somebody, which means as a first year medical student and incoming applicant, messaged me, emailed me, and they want to know more about OSU, so I am going to answer all their questions, give them advice on the interview. I love when, when applicants pick me for this, and I'm looking forward to FaceTiming them and just giving them the scoop about OSU. Yeah, change the scenery. Empty classroom in the medical school, but after this, I'm going to power study for the next 12 hours. So this is me just running through some first aid, writing down some important notes, and flipping through pages, looking at PowerPoints. I don't even remember what I was doing. My friend left, shook my hand, and then just taking some notes. Yeah, learning. Big brain energy up in here. So I am leaving that study area that I was in. Had the most mid-study session of my life. I think it's because I'm too overwhelmed to focus. I'm now going to pay $12 for a swipe in the undergrad campus and just eat until I can't eat. My favorite life hack is doing that. This is plate one. I've had some chicken and mystery fish, and then plate two. I am getting gas right now. Always lock your car when you're getting gas and you step away from it because that reminds me of the one time where I did get gas. I left my car unlocked and this family came up to me and was begging me for money while their little kid opened the door on the other side that I was not on looking for money. I'm like, bro, I will join you looking for money because you really picked the wrong person there. But heads up, always lock your car when you're getting gas and you're outside of it. Nicest Mercedes truck is behind me. So nice. While I'm gassing up, just reflecting on the day, there's a lot to be grateful for. I have enough on my card to get gas because there's been so many times where I've had to go to BP, have $1 on my Chase debit card, run my card his credit and then sit with a negative $80 balance get hit with a $30 late fee so many times there's so much in life to be thankful for I am thankful for being in school right now having the ability to study for cardiopulmonology at my dream medical school let's see having incredible friends just reflecting on the day it's so important to live in the moment and enjoy the journey touchdown in home base it is 10 p.m right now I will be doing Anki until my eyes cannot stay open. I mean, this is a time where I retain all the information right before bed, as toxic as it seems. So I am just trying to power through and pass the midterm on Monday. Alarm will be set for 6.30 a.m. tomorrow, hopefully trying to sleep by midnight tonight, but we'll see where, where that uh, takes me. Worst case scenario, I just, snooze my alarm a couple times tomorrow if I don't sleep that well. Yeah, I am exhausted. Good morning, it is Sunday morning. It is roughly 11 a.m. I went through my review slides, or Cody and Evan slides. So I went through those, 
brushed up on really high yield information, high yield facts, and I will be going in the silent cubicle section. Gonna get my hands on as much practice problems as possible, but first I'm gonna go to Tim Hortons, you already know. Good morning, is this Harley? It is. Could I please have just a large hot coffee and that's it? You sure can, well, come on now. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, happy Sunday, it's um, all that. Thank you so much, You're wow. Welcome. Made my entire day. I have a midterm tomorrow, really stressed, so. You're gonna do great. Thank you. Always good seeing you too. You too. Bye. Bye. Dang boy, yes, what's sir. this, what's this? I don't know, Tyler. Why don't you show the ladies and gentlemen what they've been waiting for? What does that say over there? What does it say on your back? <laughs> your back, dude. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Ooh, 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 out here, boys. And the scrubs. And the backpack. <laughs> this is my favorite cubicle. Looking at first aid, taking some notes, listening to some white noise. Put the whiteboard up so people don't come up to me, distract me. And then I love looking out this window when I take a study break. You might notice me smell my arm. That's because somebody came up to me and gave me a hug and knocked my Tim Hortons coffee all up my sleeve. After owning a Patagonia for less than 24 hours, good times. Yeah, just looking through some notes right now, brushing up and living life. Update. I'm getting a crash course for my boy Rocco. Buddy knows everything. Doing so good at teaching me all the answers. But yeah, we're, we're powering through. Midterm tomorrow, baby, 8 a.m. You already know it. So this ratio tells you obstruction, which is, is a disease of expiration. Just came back from the study session with Rocco. Got a little Chipotle burrito bowl action up in here. Kind of annoyed that TikTok had to do a little hack and now they charge 50 cents for a burrito. Frustrating, TikTok ruins everything. I am feeling really zen about tomorrow. I don't know what it is. I feel like I also know nothing, but I'm not anxious. Like I'm normally very anxious, which I'm proud. A little, little character development up in here, you know, growing. So I feel fine. That might change when I do more practice problems, but hopefully tomorrow goes well. And I'm about to dive into this burrito bowl. Also, it makes me so happy to see my friends get married on my fridge every time I get like a popsicle or something. So yeah, enjoy the little things in life.